Good morning, and welcome to D&D's eighth annual retreat. We have an incredible agenda planned for you this weekend. Great speakers, great parties, and some great exercises and workshops that have been designed to enhance and accelerate our performance and our self-awareness. Now, you are away from the office, away from spouses, significant others. This is your chance to let it all hang out, <laughs> all right? I want to start with some very simple role-playing exercises. Find the person that you work with most closely. Switch roles. He will pretend to be you, you pretend to be him, all right? Now, find a quiet place and we'll reconvene here in one hour. Have fun. I guess that means us. This is so stupid. I'm gonna grab some sun while I have the chance. Well, don't you think we should do this? Why? Are you really that anxious to be me? Well, not at all, but I think it might be interesting for you to see yourself. Thanks, but I have a mirror in my purse. Allison, where's that report? Excuse me? You heard me. <clears throat> Here, I've been slaving over it all night. Allison, this is completely slipshod work. I mean, there's absolutely no attention to detail. How do you expect to get anywhere? I, look at those shoes. Who taught you how to dress, Barbara Bush? Oh, come on, I don't cut you down like that. Yes, you do. You should hear yourself. The way you treat me, Amanda, is not right. I'm sorry, I don't mean to, but look at it from my side of the fence. You are so competitive with me. I date Billy with your complete permission after assurances that the two of you are not a couple. And as soon as we start to get close, you go after him. That is not exactly how it happened. Oh, no? So you're telling me you didn't dump Keith to go after Billy? It's more complicated than that. That's right. You used Keith to make Billy jealous. You quit your job, you moved away, and then when it was clear that Billy wouldn't chase you to Seattle, you came back to L.A. to chase him. No, that is not true. I put a lot of energy and passion and emotion into that relationship, and you did everything you could to destroy it. So you'll excuse me if I'm not the world's most sympathetic boss. But I just don't trust you, Allison. I don't trust you at all. 